Hey, what's up, guys? And today I'm gonna be doing um a Mac OS X Yosemite uh 10.10.5 review because I just updated my MacBook Pro Retina. So now I'm gonna show you the stuff. So if you click about this Mac, it will tell you OS X Yosemite version 10.10.5. If you want to update it, you can just go to App Store, but it requires a restart. And um, MacBook Pro Retina. We're also comparing this with the old MacBook. So, Retina, 13 inch, early 2015. But then now it's mid 2015 because it I updated to 10.10.5. Previous was 10.10.3. So, and the processor is 2.7 gigahertz. Intel Core i5, which is um quite fast, and the memory is 8 gigabytes. One. Um, 1867, um, MHZ, DDR3, graphics, Intel Iris graphics, this 6100, this is actually different, Intel Iris is different from MacBook Air, and this is actually the top best graphics, um, best, um, HD, or this is 1080p, this screen and we can also do software update but I already updated and it will show you your serial number so if you click displays here um it says built-in display 13 inch um like this and then display preferences will be in here where I will show you later and storage I use quite a lot so 92 gigabytes free of 120.11 that's how much you have in beginning but then if you see like the apps here, they have a lot of apps already installed for you. You can delete them and then, uh, but then they're like, the apps that they already give you would like take a lot of, and uh, like take up this much, like all the green is the apps they already downloaded for you. But I downloaded like Microsoft PowerPoint and stuff like that. And support, you can buy Apple Care like, uh, like service over here, you can buy Apple Care at the store, but you don't have to. And every Mac is with one year limited warranty and up to 90 days of complimentary telephone technical support. And over here, there's a Mac help. You can go on the net with this and Macintosh resources. So, right now, we're done with that. We, um, like you can also download Microsoft Word, Microsoft OneNote, and Microsoft PowerPoint. And that will cost you money. And to change the background, uh, and also the displays of this would be like desktop screensaver. It, you can change it like here. So I color photos, screensaver like that. And then, um, you can okay to um like so like if I'm on this page, I don't need to click launch pad to go to this page. And then I can just do this like put five fingers on the trackpad and then just swipe in and it'll go like that when you swipe out it'll go back here and then uh for example i went on to chrome and i was gonna like just go up and down so if i search um like hello like i just search hello and this isn't my right account um uh, like if i just search like hi and then like it goes up like this to scroll down like instead of using like the the up and down buttons you can just two fingers on the trackpad and go uh go up to go down and then go down to go up and actually where it's relatively quickly so um also uh like for example you want to copy something so you're like hi again you go here you go images why is this always oh, i think that's my apple idea yeah. so if you want to do this two fingers on the trackpad and force click down force click down and you'll see like like save image as and stuff no no this is not happening to me uh cancel so you can just like force click and then you can drag down you can print inspect element or anything like that so if i were to inspect element i do this i click down and then i inspect element to Uh, you can just do it like that and it'll come up with this and then you just click the high There and then change it to me And then you're done with that
and then this thing will change to me. But the easier way is just just delete it. But yeah, and then um this that's my friend. But now like um if you want to download something, just go to iTunes App Store, and if you want update, you click updates. They'll give you all the possible updates for your Mac. Like here, you can update iMovie, GarageBand, iMovie Keynote numbers, pages, OneNote. And then these are already done for me. And then um, uh, yeah. There's also like Finder. You can tag stuff and then search like, hi. And I don't have it, of course. And MP3, I have this though. And desktop and stuff. You can search for tags, orange, red, like that. I have no tags that are red. And then to search something, you can just go to like up here, and then they'll have spotlight search, search hi. But I have no thing like that. Now Skype, and then everything that you download, you can put it here. Like over here, you have a Game Center account. But um, if you wanna update stuff, you have to, you have to, have to sign into Apple ID unless you're updating the software, or else you have to have a Apple ID. And like over here has calculator. This is like the basic format of a phone too. And this is like so much thinner than um if you can see this it's actually really 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 a lot thinner than like um the normal Mac. It's like the normal Mac's like um like two cm. This is only like three quarters of a cm. And on the side there are three USB plugins. Um, one HDMI, one SDHC card. A charger is the new Mac charger. The old Mac charger was that circuit thingy, circular thingy. This one's the magnetic force one. And there's also two Thunderbolts, a new Mac plugin, and the uh, earpod. Um. Also, if you want to delete stuff, just go to Finder and delete it into trash. And there's also a pretty cool animation. So if I were to do this, and then like smaller it out, and then do this, it's quite cool. Like that, and there's also new effects like that. And a lot of new effects. You can just change everything you want. And for the like part, on uh, like, uh, compared to the old MacBook. So if you can see the like old Mac, like if you see it here, if you look at the picture, that is fat. That bottom, that thing, even though it has a disc extract. You don't even need that, you know. Like, uh, we look at this picture. We don't even need this thingy over here. And you know what? This thing's made of plastic. The oldest MacBook's made out of plastic. The thing is plastic, and there's just a light there. And look, it's white. The new MacBook is black. And then like, over here is like the disc extract. They don't. They only have. They. It's like really useful the disc extract. But you can just download movies and stuff. And this is the old MacBook 2. And like the keys are not even black. It's just like. I don't know. Just like white. And then like a, a lot of. Like if you see the old Mac. <coughs> sorry. If you see the old Mac is like this. Look. It's like so. Like like really horrible. And the and, uh, quality isn't even 720 HD, it's 480p, 480p, it's not like this desktop, like cool and stuff, it's only 720, no, not 720, 480p, and the uh, display, like, if you see this Galaxy, it's not as, like, it's not as good as, like, this Galaxy over here, they updated the Galaxy, and a lot of things in here are updated, like, like the, uh, like the um, like the i the core i five speed isn't even i five it's like i i three and then like here is not two point seven gigahertz it's only like zero point eight gigahertz and Intel Iris graphics is not like that it's way worse and then like the version is eight point something so it's not as good as this one so if you um. I, I know it's cheaper, but uh, if you want a Mac that actually helps you, you should buy a MacBook Pro or Air. That's the new one. 
but don't buy the newest MacBook because that one's like good, but it's like the butterfly keyboard and stuff, so it doesn't have fourth click. So if I were to like wanting to fourth click and then like ask the definition, so I, if I typed in old, I can like hold down, type with one finger, and it'll come up with the dictionary. And then the newest MacBook doesn't have this, but it's the lightest MacBook in the world, only nine hundred twenty-five grams. And um, like um, these MacBooks actually get pretty hot if you hold them for too long, and the side is also black and stuff. So I highly recommend you buying this one or the new MacBook Air because the the i the speed is way better, the internet connection is way better. The battery life's way better, and by the way, this is ten hours battery life. The other MacBook Air is sixteen hours, so it's also good. But then this has more like functions and stuff, like like, and like I yeah, I just really highly recommend you buying this, not the old MacBook, even though it's cheaper. It's like not even worth the price. It's really, it sucks. It just sucks. And it doesn't suck that bad. I mean, it can do stuff and it has the stuff and stuff. But then, but then if I were to like say it, it I I think it's not that good, cause like everything's worse than this one. So if you want to buy this, just buy it. It comes with like a lot of stuff. It comes with like the protection and the、uh, plug-in and stuff. And then they also some stores they give you um they give you um like so you can like they give you like. Uh, like the key, the keypad skin thingy, and the、uh, case. So then, like that's quite worth it. And uh, the old Mac is like really bad, and then like this one's really good. So I highly recommend you buying this. And hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, thanks for watching. Bye.